Guys, welcome back to the Motorized Scooter Build Part 3. This video I just put together rather quickly, hopefully it's not too long. In this part I'll be welding up the frame, the handlebars, making it all stronger. I'll be painting it and going for a little ride. And guys, if you haven't seen episode 1 and 2, be sure to watch those first. Remember, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you on this time lapse. No way! I just broke this uh, C-clamp from Home Depot. Let's hope this one doesn't break. pretty short day I managed to get a few good things done but now it's time to remove all that nasty stuff using one of these so we can go ahead and paint it almost halfway done but it's probably gonna be another hour six and a half hours later got all our paint this one's actually like six dollars seven dollars a can we'll see how much it totals out to well guys it's been a day we got a new haircut we've managed to pretty much sand all this down it was really rusty before but now I think it looks clean so what I'll do is I'll clean it up with some acetone lay some primer down get some paint on it and yeah let's cue another time-lapse
guys, I'm really happy how the scooter turned out. I love the paint. I love how it looks and it's, it's really cool. I did paint this wheel black, just a temporary solution because that yellow looks hideous, but structurally it's not going anywhere. And of course we got our Predator 79cc engine governor removed. I've gotten lots of mods coming, but that's in the next video. The only thing that's sketchy about it is the brakes. Remember guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to browse all my videos. And this is part three. Be sure to check out my other part one and part two. And if y'all did enjoy this part so far, guys, be sure to leave a like. But guys, I'm really excited. I know y'all are too. Let's go on a ride. Well guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed part 3 of this video. Do give me some feedback on it. Now at the end there, I was having some problems with the chain and the chain alignment. I think I just did a bad job of welding the sprocket up, so I might have to order a new sprocket and new wheel because the rear wheel is just too small. But yeah, I'll have to order some parts, so expect part 4 to be next next week. Not this coming week, but next next week. And also just a little announcement, I decided to uh, go to you know college and stuff and work so I still have all of that in the background but I still be trying to upload a video every single week so guys bear with me hopefully y'all can understand if there's no video for a certain week then that's probably why but as always I'll see you in the next video stay tuned for more peace